Hey, what's up, you guys? Today was leg day, a very, very brutal session, but we're going to get right into it. So we started with leg press for our first exercise. Uh, the first set, I started with two plates. This is the second set. I got four plates. And the goal of those two sets was to really just warm my legs up, get a good stretch, get a good contraction, and find out the path that I'm going to use with this exercise here. Just want to prepare my legs to uh, be ready for the heavier weight that I'm going to put on. <clears throat> so one thing I like to do with all exercises, so this will be my third set, increasing the weight by two more plates. One thing I like to do with all exercises is to resist the weight. That's how I make sure that I'm in control of the weight. I resist the weight. That's how I make sure I'm feeling the tension in the right area. I resist the weight. So, I want to be in control. So what I do for this one is I dig my heels into that little metal plate right there and I make sure I'm always pushing into that plate during the whole exercise. I'll never let up. I need to feel my heels digging into that plate during the whole movement. So here I am increasing the weight again. And even as the weight goes up, I don't sacrifice that technique, I don't sacrifice that form. I really try to keep that in my head and it just let that become, you know, religion. Got to do that every time, make each rep better than the last. So that's my primary focus, feeling the tension in the right areas, feeling the tension in my quads where I want to feel them, or my hamstrings wherever I want to target, being in control of the weight the whole time, and keeping that form no matter what the weight. <clears throat> so... This would be the uh, fifth set here. 10 plates on each side. Shit was mad heavy for me, man. But I'll tell you something about these heavy sets. You can only get like a couple of reps in, right? And I want you to be honest with yourself. When you do those heavy sets, do you really feel burned out? After you get like four sets in, I mean, I'm sorry, four reps in, do you really feel burned out? I can answer that for you. No, you don't feel burned out. Because those heavy sets don't really burn you out. They just burn you out for that weight. So, even though that was a little struggle, set right there we're going to make this one a drop set we're gonna drop some weight so what I did was I took three plates off each side now we're gonna be dealing with seven plates you know it's a weight that I can handle much easier that I can get some more quality reps in and get some you know just more reps in general in so it's a weight that I can really burn out in and feel that pain that struggle this is what you want to go for it hurts look I slowed the video down because I want you I want you guys to see me go through this look that looks like the last rep for me like that was a struggle rep it seemed like I was burned out, it seemed like I was done, but you can still usually go on some more. It's it's just like your brain telling you to stop. It feels it's like your brain warning you. But you can kind of override those override those warnings from your brain and just try to keep on going and try to get like four more reps in. See? That's what I was trying to do. You know, I'm going through excruciating pain right there. I'm feeling like my body's about to just break. But that's just your brain telling you that. It's not necessarily true. So Try to get some more reps in. That's when the gains are really made. That's what Arnold was talking about, trying to get those three extra reps in that will separate you from a regular person, from a champion. You know what I'm saying? So let's be champions. Let's fucking make it hard. So moving on. Now we're on the leg extensions. This like that accessory work. Easy stuff, but totally necessary. Um, get a good... This video is like sped up four times, but you can still see me squeezing at the top. So that, that lets you know that you need to be squeezing at the top. Squeeze some blood into the muscles. And then as you come down, get a nice slow release and get a stretch at the bottom. And come back up with complete control. Alright, moving on to the leg curls. Might have did like four sets of each of these. So moving on to these leg curls. Same thing. Squeeze at the top. Release slowly, resisting the whole time. Your heels need to be on that cushion. I mean, you need to feel your heels pulling up constantly against that cushion. So obviously your heels are already touching the red cushion, but you need to make a conscious effort of making your heels press into them even harder to make sure you're always resisting the weight. So with this one, this exercise, I would advise you not to sit all the way back into the seat. I'd advise you to sit up, grab the bottom of your chair, and then you're just gonna pull from your hamstrings all the way to the bottom right there. You're gonna pull. Keep your toes pointed towards the ceiling as I did right there. And then just pull from your hamstrings and your glutes. You're going to feel it get all tight. You're going to feel the connection. And you're just going to pull each and every time and just in a, con in a slow, controlled manner. All right, so moving on to the stiff leg deadlifts. I was looking for a nice compound exercise to target my hamstrings more because that's something I've really been lacking on. So stiff leg deadlifts are perfect for that. As you can see, I also put the weights beneath my feet. This is going to allow for a deeper stretch into my hamstrings when I get to the bottom of the movement. And then you're going to push through your heels and come right back to the top and repeat that. 
so with stiff leg deadlifts you are supposed to keep your knees just about locked out and keep your legs as straight as possible but for some reason that was it just felt very uncomfortable doing that so i compromised a bit and as you can see i'm bending my knees but i, I did my best some of you guys maybe ha might have a little bit more mobility and you guys can do them with perfect form i came up in weight added a 25 pounds on each side now with stiff leg deadlifts i wasn't looking to go too heavy because they you just seem like you're right if you're not careful it seems like you can really you could injure yourself so I wanted to make sure that I was always in control of this weight and I could really handle the weight so I came up again with 25 pounds and that's as heavy as I went with the stiff leg deadlifts didn't want to snap nothing break no limbs and nothing like that so we kept things a little careful but it felt good I don't do stiff leg deadlifts too often and it was a good switch up I'm sure my hand my hamstrings benefited from it now to end the workout we're going to end with squats we're going to do these bad boys on the smith machine and the goal of these squats was to just go heavy so i started with i started with one plate to warm up a little bit and then came right up to three plates just trying to burn out get some blunt force trauma bang them quads out and get some growth so that was the idea with these squats um added weight this would be three plates and 25 added 25 pounds same goal in mind going heavy burning out I'm not trying to save no energy this is the last exercise right after these i will be done i'll be leaving the gym i want to make sure that i gave it my all I want to make sure that i left no stone unturned so we can actually expect some gains you know what i'm saying because if you bullshit and you can't even expect nothing don't go don't go home and asking why you ain't looking in the mirror and asking why you ain't big did you really go in it did you really go hard did you really embrace the fucking grind did you embrace the pain that's what you got to do so now this was that last set came back down to weight to two plates and just burned out didn't save nothing burn out that's the end of my leg day guys i hope you guys enjoyed it it was fucking brutal was no joke thank you for watching please subscribe I'm gonna have more videos coming out i love you all thank you